Direct Line decided to undertake this research because there's a um, debate in the travel insurance industry in the UK at the moment as to whether or not the use of ski helmets should be made compulsory. And as far as we're aware, this is a UK first uh, in terms of the scientific use of crash test dummies to, to carry out these tests. So the testing that we're doing here is investigating the effect of a skier crashing into a tree. We're simulating the accident at three different speeds that we would expect to see on a skiing slope. So that's 10, 20 and 30 kilometers per hour. From just the slow speed test, we're seeing a really stark difference between the effect of wearing a helmet and not wearing a helmet. In the 20 kilometer per hour test, um, the, the skier without the helmet actually experienced a force equivalent to a 1.9 ton car being suspended from their head when they collided with the tree. Now that compares with the skier with the helmet actually having a force that was something like four times less than that. When the skull strikes uh, an object and is decelerated very rapidly, the brain will move within the skull and will push up against it and cause bruising and damage to the brain itself. There are lesser injuries which can cause symptoms to develop later, particularly if the damage causes a slow bleeding in the brain, and that can manifest as, uh, as altered consciousness, so becoming increasingly drowsy, perhaps an unpleasant headache, sickness is often a common sign, and these things, if these things occur after a head injury, then they need to be taken very seriously and urgent medical attention sought. For us, the importance of wearing a helmet is to give you the maximum protection if you do have some sort of accident, whether it's something that's caused by your skiing or by somebody else. Um, and the people we often see coming with us in the disability snow sport are the people who perhaps have had that kind of injury and who were having to compromise quite drastically in their future skiing. My experience is the majority of people don't wear helmets and wear what I've got on. Uh, unfortunately, they're not, unless you take one, they're not readily available in my experience. There are times when I've fallen and gone straight back and the first thing I've thought is, thank God I've got a helmet on, because you can feel it. It's, you know, so the impact without it must be incredible. It's essential to make sure that you have proper winter sports cover in place as a part of your travel insurance because costs are increasing significantly. So the cost of a helicopter evacuation from the slopes, we've seen at sort of 2,000, 3,000 pounds, even for quite short transfers. Inpatient hospital costs can then be fairly significant. You know, what this test has shown us is that absolutely it's in your own interests to uh, ski as safely as possible, particularly if you're with a young family. Uh, and we would certainly recommend the use of ski helmets at all times.